This tutorial is going to cover using the online editor to change the colors of the base pads. I'm going to show you what you want to do and also what you don't want to do. So first I want to select the MIDI port. I've loaded the editor in my web browser in Chrome. I'm going to select the port that the base is using and it finds the base and gets all of the settings. Um, I've already reset this to the de default settings, so I don't need to do that. So I want to go ahead and select a button down here. And I can, that's the same button as down here. You can see I can also use the pads themselves to select. I can set this to red. I can set this one to green. And this one to blue. Um, so that's pretty simple. Now they are these uh, unique colors. I can set several of them to blue. And if I wanted to, I could set this one to red, this one to red, this one to red, and this one to red. Okay, that's great. Uh, so what we want to do is we want this to load up next time we plug in the base. So the easy way to do that is just save to device. Um, that happens very quickly and we can test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug and then plug in the base again and we can see that the colors are back. Um, of course I'll need to reload the server so I'll just press command R, select my MIDI port and we have all of our settings and we can go down here and we can see in our LEDs area that these follow the same colors that we have on these pads. Um, now there is one thing that you do not want to do um, and that is have LED local control enabled for the drum pads. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So if I enable that then when I press a pad, you can see that it is changing colors. So we'll lose all of our colors once we do that. Of course, that's easily rectified. Just disable that and we can unplug, replug because we've had these settings saved. And we can reload, select the MIDI port. And we'll see that, again, our colors in the LED panel are all still the same. So it's pretty simple to arrange the colors how you want on pads, and you could do the same on buttons. And there are several things to do on the sliders, too. But maybe we'll cover that in another tutorial.